today, another dollar with Jermaine, and I still got a little bit of coffee after that bumpy bike ride. Hmm. One tip I want to throw out there. So about two days ago, I pumped up my tires. Now these tires recommend 45 to 65 PSI. So on the safe side, I put 60 PSI in both tires when I got the bike. And I rode the bike. The bike was, was great. I really liked the, the 60 PSI. Over time, tires always lose pressure. So I checked it about two days ago, and the front tire was at 15 PSI, and the back tire was at 25 PSI. So I pumped them both up to 60 PSI, and I noticed that, wow, this bike rides completely different. Like, I'm getting better range. It's easier to pedal. It's easier to cycle up hills. It's easier to, to do anything with this bike. I say all of this to remind you guys, if you're out cycling, make sure you keep airing your tires. You keep your tires aired up all the time. You don't have to work as hard. You don't have to pedal as hard. Like, the bike rolls better. This is definitely something really important that all of you guys should consider if you are out there cycling. Where did the day go? It's like 6 p.m. now. I just woke up from what? This is the second or third nap I've taken today. It's been raining like all day. And it's been one of those days where I'm like, look, I'm not going to go out in the rain. Like, I don't want to get super wet. But now it's not raining. And I woke up maybe 20 minutes ago. I think I'm going to go out, maybe knock out two or three deliveries just to get some exercise, just to move around. Because like I say, like I've been in the house like majority of the day. And it's just been one of those days. And I've been reading in the comments, and I see that a lot of people are talking about the GoPro. They're saying that the um, the footage from the Sony camera looks better than the GoPro camera. Well, one thing I do want to remind you guys is, ever since I've been using this camera, I've used this camera for like three days, it hasn't been nice outside. Um, so, you don't really see all those colors, you know? There's no blue sky behind me. So that's one thing why it doesn't look good. Another thing is this is like a waterproof camera and I've been using it like all the time. And water always gets on the lens. I always like try to wipe it off. But whenever I do that, I can never like wipe it off perfect because I'm usually wiping this lens off on something that's probably already wet. So basically I'm just getting the water bubbles off the lens but there's like the lens is still wet. So it's not going to give me like the clearest shot. One thing I'm really excited with this camera is I'm able to get like shots that I can never get with that Sony camera. It's also a lot easier to hold this camera. I'll show you guys what this camera looks like, the stick I'm using. I'm using this stick here. And as you guys can see, like that is pretty simple to hold. With this camera, when I am cycling in the city, it's really easy for me to like just pull this camera out and like I can cycle with this hand and I can just have the camera in this hand and if I need to take this hand and put it on the handlebars I can do it like that you know now with this Sony camera on the other hand by this camera being like this and with it having like this flip out screen and whenever I turn this camera on this like this whole screen like comes out like this. This is a lot trickier to hold when I'm cycling. Like this is really tricky to hold when I'm cycling. Um, this GoPro on the other hand is a whole lot easier to hold. And if I had, and also this camera and this camera, I can't get them wet outside. So if I would not have had this camera for the past two days, my shots probably would have been a whole lot different. They probably would have been a whole bunch of indoor shots, but instead I was able to get a whole bunch of awesome outdoor shots with this camera because this camera is a lot smaller. I can put this camera in places and I can also like, you know, wave it down and put it back here and I can, you know, do this one to get one of those back angles while I'm still moving forward. Then I can turn the camera around and get that front angle. With this camera, trying to get that back angle is like, it's too much movement with the lens, you know, out. And then I have to change it, switch it around in my hand like that. 
And this Sony camera is pretty busted up, pretty bad. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, it's it has taken quite a few drops. But yeah, I still like this Sony camera. I'm still gonna use it, especially when I like travel out the US. Like I'll definitely use it. But for city shots and vlogging like on my bike, I'm probably gonna use the GoPro a lot more because it's a lot smaller. It's a whole lot easier to use. The audio has improved a little bit, but the audio is still much better on this camera. And the audio is still much better on this camera, especially with a microphone attached to this camera too. But yeah, that's just a little bit of camera talk for now. Um, I think I'm gonna go outside and get wet because I just gotta go out and move around, get some exercise, get this camera wet, shoot some more footage, and let go. Just accepted the first delivery at my house. About to go pick this one up right now. Can y'all see me? What this night mode look like on the GoPro? Anyway, I'm not wearing my helmet because it's still wet from like two days ago. Almost at the pickup. This is a double order. So once I knock these two out, cross my fingers, I can just accept one more order or even better, one more double order and then I can call it a night. All right, so this is something they just did in Oakland recently. So the cars used to park on this side of the street and the bikes would go in between the, the parked cars and the cars on the street. So just recently, and I mean like six months, a year ago, they switch it up so now the bikes go on the inside the, the cars go on the outside and the meters are still over there on the sidewalk it's a little confusing every now and then I'm cycling through and there's cars parked here because they don't get it they don't get it they think okay the meter is here I park at the meter it's kind of a disaster at times but I guess it works one thing I love about Oakland deliveries is usually it's a little bit easier to drop off in the city you have to be buzzed in, you have to go through one door, then you have to like wait for the elevator, you have to go upstairs, you have to drop the item off. But around here in Oakland, you can like literally knock on the door and give it to them and you're done. That happens in the city too, but just not as much as it happens here. I did all that talking and now my next delivery is in this building. This is gonna be Uber's new office in downtown Oakland. Break time, let's explore Oakland. What is this area? I don't think I've ever been over here before. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's like a little park area. Nice and peaceful here. Maybe I can uh, come hang out here on a sunny afternoon. A sunny Saturday afternoon. Come on, when do I ever hang out at the park on a Saturday afternoon? I should do one more because it's not raining. Like the streets are completely dry. I give up after that batch. Everything seemed to, I don't know, slow down. Like a few requests were popping up. These requests were pretty far away. Definitely were not interested. Thought I would just come back to the house and see what's popping around here there's nothing popping around here Vanessa and one of her girlfriends they went to like the Oakland Beach and if you're from the Oakland area you might think that's funny what Oakland Beach yeah like technically there's like a little Oakland Beach near the toll plaza like near that area you know when you're driving to the city right when you go through the toll plaza if you look to your right you'll see cars parked like on the other side of that fence and yeah that's actually in Oakland Beach um, it's pretty difficult to get to maybe I'll take you guys there one day but yeah that's where Vanessa and her girlfriend is now uh, I don't know I'm thinking about just having a beer or something cuz I've been sleeping like majority of the day and it's like what eight o'clock now and I don't know I'm still pumped you know same time I feel tired but I don't want to lay down I know I've gotten plenty of sleep today so I'm just gonna try to like stay up and stay popping and stay moving uh, I don't know maybe I'll just go work on some more YouTube videos because I was actually supposed to work on a, a video today but didn't really do it it was raining a lot and I don't know I just wasn't in the mood that's definitely not the correct time it's the next morning I'm at WeWork there's no loud music on right now it's pretty peaceful check it out now that's the right time I think I'm gonna get ready to upload yesterday's vlog because it's 
I got, what, like almost two hours to get this thing online. What's up with all these chairs? They rearranged them. I really like these. Check it out. Don't look at all my junk food here. I just got, what, bananas, oatmeal, raisins, and some, some areas. But this is the breakfast here. The oatmeal, the bananas, and the raisins. But uh, these are pretty cool desks. Check these out. Let me guess. This one doesn't do it. All right, this one here. See, watch this. Zip! This thing raises up. So you can, like, stand up and get all your work done. Look how cool it is. Look how cool that thing is. Yeah. Type, 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 type. All right, I think I'm going to end the vlog because I got to start another vlog like in less than an hour. So I'm going to go make some breakfast, chop up those bananas, put them in my uh, oatmeal. And yeah, we're going to see what I, what's in store for today.